Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be where i am going you know the way thomas said to him master we do not know where you are going how can we say we know the way jesus said to him i am the way and the truth and the life no one comes to the father except through me. My friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. Today, we commemorate all our faithful departed. All the faithful departed. And we find comforting words in our gospel as we talk about death and remember our beloved dead. Most of us are not comfortable in talking about our own death. Are you comfortable? Pag pinag-usapan ang ating kamatayan, no, parang ilag na ilag tayo. No? Para bang pakiramdam natin, eh, mamamanifest natin ang our own death. Uh, well, we find comforting words in our gospel through the very words of Jesus. And this is the reason why Jesus told us or told His disciples, do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. This applies to all our troubles, anxieties, worries, and thoughts in life. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Jesus is assuring his disciples that they do not have to be troubled as he leaves them. Oh, the context of this is Jesus is leaving. And so, directly, he is reminding them, you have faith in God. Have faith also in me. Magandang reminder ito, whenever we are in trouble, or whenever we have troubles in life, whenever we have anxieties, worries, you have faith in God. Have faith also in me. It's just like saying, Oh, di ba? May pananampalataya ka sa Diyos? Manampalataya ka rin sa akin. Anong inaalala-alala mo dyan? Anong ina-anxiety-anxiety mo dyan? It's just like that. 
So whatever Jesus would say, believe and have faith. It's good that Jesus started with this statement, a reminder that they have faith in God. So have faith also in Jesus because he continued his assurance as he told his disciples, in my father's house, there are many dwelling places. And if I go and prepare a place for you, listen to this, I will come back again to take you to myself. Again, I will come back again to take you to myself so that where I am, you also may be. Isn't it beautiful assurance? Hearing all these assurances of Jesus, it's as if we are being told that we have a place in Jesus. Again, a place in Jesus, not in heaven. We did not hear any word about heaven, but a place in Jesus. This place that Jesus is referring to is not a physical place or a space, but a place in Jesus. Sa Tagalog, may lugar tayo kay Jesus. Hindi lang puwang, no? not only space, may lugar tayo kay Jesus. Last time, I attended a wedding reception of my friend. No, After uh, we officiated the, the wedding, I attended the reception. And I heard in his personal vow, oh, di ba ganun naman ngayon? No? Hindi nagkasya doon sa vow na binabanggit sa right. No? Gusto pa may sarili pa siyang vow. As if kulang pa yung kanyang mga sinumpaan o pinangako. Tuto pa rin kaya. No, pagdating naman ng ilang uh, ilang araw, no, nagaaway na rin. Well, anyway, I heard my friend told his wife. No, sabi niya no sa kanyang vow. In between his long vow, he said, "I found a home in you. You are my home." Uh, we heard it many times. I know that it becomes a cliche, but it brought me to reflect. Ano ba ibig sabihin nun? I found a home in you, and you are my home. Tahanan? Bahay? Well, a home is a place of love, understanding, kindness, and so much more. But it is more than a structure where people live. And this is what my friend meant. When he told his wife, I found a home in you. Nakahanap ako ng tahanan sa iyo kung saan titira ang aking pag-ibig, titira ang aking pangunawa at kabutihan. It's beautiful, di ba? Ang sarap pakinggan na kahit nasaan ka, kahit nasaan tayo, tayo ay tahanan. Even if we don't have a physical house, we are home. I am at home with you. And this is also what Jesus meant by saying, I will come back and take you to myself. Dadaling ko kayo sa aking sarili. He is telling us that He has prepared a place for us to dwell. And that place is none other than Himself. Ang ganda, no? So, hindi pala langit ang tinutukoy dito. All the while, ako rin, kala ko langit, dwelling places, silid. But it's not. Our death ends not in heaven as a place, but a place in Jesus. Lugar kay Jesus. Lugar sa Diyos. However, we can only go to Jesus if we will take His way. Hindi pa tapos doon. 
Uh, not only in the promise, don't hold on to the promise. May kasunod ang sabi ni Jesus, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Direct and clear, to be with Jesus and the Father is to take Jesus' path or way. This is the reason why we should talk about death so that we would know the way we are going to take or else we would end up in a different place. Kaya dat pinag-uusapan ang kamatayan. Kaya lang tayo takot pag-usapan ng kamatayan kasi hindi tayo sigurado sa ating hantungan. But if you are confident with your end, ang sarap pag-usapan ng kamatayan. Kaya nga nasasabi natin eh, handa na akong mamatay. Well, because you are assured of your end. Yung mga takot mamatay, hindi sigurado ang kanilang hantungan. And since we do not know and we are not sure if our beloved dead took the way of Jesus, sigurado ba kayo yung asawa nyo took the way of Jesus? Sigurado ba kayo yung mga lolo at lola natin? Si Jesus ang tinungo. Sigurado ba tayo yung mga kamag-anak natin makadiyos at nilakaran ang daan ng Diyos. And so, this is the reason why we are praying for them. So that they may also be with Jesus. Hindi tayo sigurado, but at least our prayer could lead them to Jesus. After all, our responsorial psalm tells us, the Lord is kind and merciful. Di ba gano'n na lang? Hindi mo alam kung pasaway ba yung asawa mo nung nabubuhay. Hindi mo alam kung yung lolo at lola mo ay tumalikod sa Diyos nung nabubuhay. But we pray for them because the responsorial psalm tells us the Lord is kind and merciful. Mabait, maunawain ng Diyos. Yung mga hiling natin, aasa na lang tayo sa bait at awa ng Diyos. My dear brothers and sisters, may we all take the way of Jesus and dwell in Him so that at the end of our lives, where He is, we also may be. Amen.